afternoon happy sunday to you all i am coming back with a another episode of the fight club pro save on tw 2020 where you were where you left us off last we that's back to the by the way sorry there it is we equaled our record attendance and uh, we did have a very good we did a very good show so hopefully this episode we will continue that so yeah so i'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode right so we're back now just to give you a little bit of an update here we're now we've got one sorry 144,468 dollars and we made eight and a half just over eight and a half grand profit so what we're going to do we do this every month we just keep up in production a bit so upgrading this will involve a fee of one thousand pounds what once upgraded your cost would be one thousand five hundred per month plus five hundred per show so it's more than affordable, I think we can do that. So we're going semi-pro with that. Live event experience, it will cost us seven and a half grand per show. You employ a medium-sized live event crew mixing professional leaders with amateur helpers. They work to ensure fans have. So we'll, we'll try it. We can all downgrade it. It is a bit expensive per show. Broadcast quality, we can upgrade that. So that will cost us 2,500 per show. So our costs are going to go up by about 11 and a half grand per show, but I feel like we can cover it because of the alliance and stuff like that. And it will help us get a TV deal. So that's all that matters, really. And then music. I don't think we're that bothered about music, but we can just upgrade it as well to a local. So we're slightly improving on that. But yeah, that's that's that one. I'm trying to think what else there was. I swear there's other things I need to talk to you about, but I can't think. I'll just go through the last show. So Kenny Williams defeated Dave Mastiff to retain the heavyweight title in the main event of the last show. And then Mark Andrews in the semi main event got the... Had the match of the night against Morgan Webster. So we might redo that one, maybe uh, up the stakes a little bit and that. But yeah. Oh yeah, Nathan Cruz, who I was going to push hard on this show. He's unfortunately injured. So he's he's injured for about 13 days. So he'll come back next show. But it is a bit of a poker because he is so good that it does benefit our show when we have him. So let's see. Let's hope that we this show here has no incidents and it will be a pretty straightforward show with no backstage incidents we're hoping fingers crossed because last episode there was quite a few that upset a lot of people i'm also going to be sticking to what i'm saying wrestlers that don't get a 50 rate in ring other than blue cane there'll be a few exceptions blue cane being one of them big t justice being another one but yeah oh god backstage incidents here we go oh my god there's four right roy, roy knight has been attacked spike trivet to a fight so i'm gonna get rid of roy knight because he's been in quite a few incidents now it's gonna upset the other knights though but you know he's had he's been in quite a few incidents now bubble has been gotten a lot of heat for the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude signs so i'm just gonna get rid of him anyway because he's he's never wrestled for us so i don't really care if it upsets him carl misery he's going because he's i'm not even gonna read it because it's just the second time he's been in trouble now. Right, Wild Ball has been brought into the wrestlers' court, accused of moaning about stuff all the time and bumming everybody out. So Johnny Keir just basically told him to stop it and buy people, buy the wrestlers' beers. Automatic, save that one. Right, let's get to the good stuff now, actually booking. So, as always, we're going to have Blue Kane in the match. And who are we going to have him against? Male, I think it might be too soon for Dave Mustard. Joe Henry. I hate that it never lets me do it first time. Right, there you go. Joe Henry. Blue Kane. Winner. There we go. They're not even moaning about losing to him now. That's how over he is. So, that's good. Right. We're going to have tag team match now. Right. So, we're doing that one. Oh, no. Wrong wrong button. There we go. Where's... Why, is it, why haven't we got Morgan Webster and, and Mark Andrews as a tag team? They should be a tag team, shouldn't they? But for some reason, they're not. We're just going to put them in a tag team match for now. Who are we going to have them against? Let's try these. See how they get on. BT Gun's apparently one of my best workers, so we'll soon find out. We'll just leave it as that. That'll be a good post opener match to start the show. So we'll do Ginny. We'll have her and Kaylee Lee Ray versus the Owen twins. So that's 20 minutes. See if that'll let us do that. That's fine. Right, we need to do some angles, don't we? So we'll do Blue Kane, Fighting, Joe Henry, Selling. Push that up here. We'll do Ginny and Kaylee Ray fighting, and then Leah selling. Oh god, what's her sister called again? Casey in it. Yeah, selling. We do that. That's that sorted. So we've got pre match, sorry, post match attacks in them angles. That sorts out the angles for us. Now we can crack on. So we'll have Joseph Connors, I think, because he hasn't wrestled for us for a while. We'll have Joseph Connors versus Dave Mastiff. And we'll do that. Try 20 minutes, see how it goes. Yep. And then main event, Kenny Williams 
We've got to think of a. We've got to find a good wrestler for him to wrestle now. So we go male. Somebody preferably hasn't wrestled yet. Spike Trivet. Yeah, we'll, ju we'll try Spike Trivet. Heavyweight title. Unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Oh well, you'll have to deal with it. Kenny Williams is the champion for now. Right, that's that. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just hold on. Let's just check this actually. Yeah, okay. Maybe protect. So we go keep strong spike trivet and hopefully that'll help. There we go. He's alright with that now then. Right, let's start the show. So yeah, so Blue Cane, I've got 47 rating, so that's pretty good. The angle afterwards did well. 78 rating, that's a really good rating for a tag match. I mean Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster, I think they just need to be the tag champions from now on. So yeah, especially as I don't have tag team champions now, because I got rid of Roy Knight, who's part of the hooligans. We're going to build a tag team division around them too, I think. All right. The angle with the women got 77 rating. Oh, no, sorry. That was the match. I apologise. The match got 77 rating. That's really good as well. This is going to be end up being a good show, I reckon. But we might end up, this might end up being our best show rating overall because we've had a couple of 70 over, over 70 rated matches already. So that's really good. Ginny, 83. She was in top form. The angle afterwards got a 47. 71, see, another 70 match. Dave Mastiff defeated Joseph Connors with the sweat sent on bomb. And then 71 for the main event, which ain't too bad. Spike Trivet was the standout performer in this match. If he was a bit more cooperative, because when you protect a wrestler, it kind of takes away from the match rating. So, but overall, pretty good. Now, let's see how the show did overall. 69, well, that's surprising. I thought it would do better than that. But 95 people, so we've broken our attendance record. So, at least there's that. But I thought the show rating would have got a bit better than that. But it is what it is. I'm happy with that show overall. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's just wait for this to finish up and see what, if there's anything that's come from it. While well, I'm waiting, thank you, as always, for following and subscribing. Much appreciated. I hope... I hope that you're enjoying the content. Let me know as well, because obviously I'm not an expert on this game. I have had it for many years, but barely, barely played it. So I'm learning every time I play this game. FCP Hangover was shown last night and got less than 0.01 TV rating. So 3,394 with 4,207 viewers overall. I think that might be slightly up. I'll have a look offline. But yeah, no other news. We've got 116 so we've lost a bit of money because of the production side. I think we'll be all right. I think what we'll do is look at the finances next month when the next show in 27 days. So I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything I was meant to do. No. Right then. I'll be back in a minute then with the next part of the show. Right. And we're back. And uh, yeah. So just one thing I need to tell you about on here before I forget. We just recently got a new broadcasting deal with... Power Slam Wrestling Network. So these are the deals that we have in place. We have with Facebook, Watch, YouTube Britain and YouTube Europe, where we basically, it's like a three month contract. I think we, we pay them like 1,000 per show to broadcast it. And then with WX Now, we, WXW Now and also Now Power Slam Wrestling Network, we, it's like an on-demand service. So it helps us little by little get our finances up we have 1507 grand and 249 sorry 1507 thousand pounds we'll just leave it that we'll just put it that so we're just i don't know wrong thing we just need to look at the finances there you go that's right in december so we're in the second week of january that's why we went that's why we didn't make much in performance ticket sales don't know why we made money from ticket sales because i don't think we did a show actually let me just have a look this is bugging me show history 2025. So our last show was... Oh, sorry. I apologise. We did do a show. So why was our performance not very good then? Oh, probably because the cost maybe it was to do with the cost or something. I don't know. So yeah, so we got made $855 from ticket sales, $112 from broadcast revenue, $7,371 from the sponsors, $106 from merchandise, and then the Alliance which is getting better and better every time. We got we made thirty six thousand two hundred and seventy seven. Cost us about eleven grand in paying the wrestlers and that three thousand pounds in the show costs. Marketing was seventy five. Merchandise was a grand. This is the big increase. The now production now will now cost us thirteen grand. So I think that's why that was slightly off. Maybe I could be wrong. And then media cost us three grand as well. So yeah. But anyway, we've got our next show coming up, and it's called Big Strong Boys. So I think the first match we need to do is a big meaty man match. I 
think that's what the first match needs to be to kick off the show with big with blue cane involved big t justice and we'll get a few more in there as well i think looking good but let's see if we have any lovely flipping surprise backstage backstage incidents to deal with this time let's do this first so i do automatic selection for that so we have got backstage incidents we've got three of them doug williams oh doug doug williams has got a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude there are no signs that could turn into a, sorry there there are signs that could turn into a very serious situation not handled soon as his employee you now have to choose how to deal with the situation right so i'm gonna find him hopefully that'll work he's happy with it so right chris went through as you know antagonizing a loss Federos Santos Jr. so much that a fight broke out and they had to be pulled apart. So I'm going to give him a fine as well. Okay, some unhappy, some happy, but that's just how it is. Oh, great. Spike Trivet again. Right, fine him. Hope for the best. Spike Trivet's starting to become a right pain in the butt. If he gets another one, I'm going to have to get rid of him. If he gets in another instant. Right, so we're going to do a big meaty man match. Let's let's do six way. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't think we've got many big meaty boys. So we go Blue Kane, Big T Justice. The male work our way through. See who else we've got. Colossus Kennedy, he can be involved. Go and see what else we can find. Maybe we haven't got enough for a six way. I might have to just chuck somebody in. Oh, I'll put T Bone in. If we, if we, let's just keep looking. Yeah, I'll put T Bone in. He's, he's a muscly guy. There you go. So do that. And we'll do Wild Brawl in Blue Cane, sorry, as the winner. That's fine. Actually, let's protect. Keep strong, Dave Mastiff. It's furious at the bucket, okay. Protect him as well then. All right, let's try that one. There you go, he's all right with that. So that's the first match. We'll do a women's match as well. So this will be an expensive show because of all the workers that we're using, but it is what it is. All right, Ginny, well, like Bailey, Killer Kelly. She hasn't wrestled for ages for us. Who else? Rhea O'Reilly? Oh, no, no. Nina Samuels, Millie McKenzie, Mariah May, maybe. She's not rated very well on here, actually. Is she Mariah May? We'll try, we'll put Casey in there. Right, that's that. Do 20 minutes. I'll leave this uh, blank and we'll go we'll let the AI assist. We'll let them book the winner of that one. Right, I'll just do Ginny microphone. We'll just leave it as a, we'll just leave Ginny on the mic. We'll do Blue Kane attacking Dave Mastiff afterwards because we can book them in a match next. That up here a bit. Right, uh, let's do a tag team match now. So we're going to do, we're going to, these, these, this is going to be for our tag titles. I'm not going to do a tournament. I'm just going to basically pick. Oh, I need to. Uh, tag team before I do this. Teams. Right. Oh, I can't remember what they're called now. Mark. Andrews. Morgan. Morgan Webster. They have a suggested scum. Oh, so they are. They can be a tag team. So they are a tag team. So we've got Mark Andrews. Morgan Webster. Who are they going against then? The Wave Busters. Oh, I don't know if Nathan Cruz is back yet. Actually, I'll put him in there. They'll soon tell me. Right. So that'll be that for the tag titles. Go 20 minutes. More, Mark Andrews, Morgan Webster, the winner. We'll go high spots as well. Right, how long we've done so far? Okay, so we've got two more matches we can do. And then we'll do Kenny Williams. Who can we do Kenny Williams against this time? Not good yet. Thomas, but no, he's in a stable with Thomas. Can we do Spot Trivet again? They did have a good match last time. Let's try BT Gun actually. Heavyweight title. Go 20 minutes. And then we'll do Kenny Williams as the big top. Right, let's just check. No, he's got the. There we go. No, that's good to see. So in the big meaty boy match, Blue Kane won. The match got the show off to a good start. Stand up, perform, in ring perform was oh, Les Federos Santos Jr. with a 70 rating. That's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. T Bone did alright. Dave Mastiff did okay. But yeah, maybe he's one to push. Big T Justice is exempt from the firing, but might get rid of Colossus Kennedy, maybe Tyson T Bone as well. So we'll look doing that at some point angle afterwards got the crowd heart got 41 rating for that the women's six-way match got a 70 rating Ginny was the standout performer and then followed by killer kelly the angle afterwards did okay Ginny was not good without a script though the tag team title match scum one got a 71 rating morgan west got an 87 mark andrews with a 76 and then Nathan Cruz with the 73, Sam Bailey being the weak link of that match was a little too long given its aim. So maybe I should have done that as a 15 minute match, but still got a 71 rating, so that's not too bad. And Joseph Connors defeated Jody Flosh, got a 61 rating. And then the main events, Kenny Williams defeated BT Gunn. He's now made defence 18 of his Fight Club Pro heavyweight title. 
only got a 66 rating. BT Gun didn't perform very well, but we managed to increase the popularity in 32 regions. So that uh, that addition to adding ourselves to that Power Slam networks really helped us. And we got a 64 rating for that. We got 100 people in attendance. Woohoo! Happy days. Look at that. That's really good to see that is. 100 people increased by eight. No, seven. We have seven more people from the, the last show we did. 32 regions. We've, we're now starting to build our reach around the country and abroad. Big T Justice has said that Shane Purse has charisma. He has a lot of upside. And then Strong Boys viewership figures. We managed to get a 0.01 TV rating with 1,950 viewers and 6,375 viewers overall. So we are increasing nicely there. 128 grand in the bank, 4% prestige and 58 momentum. So that is a good way to end the episode. But yeah, thank you to everyone who has been watching and supporting me. The next episode of the TW Fight Club Pro show series. Sorry, I've been talking for the last three hours. My brain's not thinking properly. Yeah, so the next episode will be on Thursday, so it's, it's usually going to be Thursdays and Sundays on YouTube, so keep on track with that. And if you haven't watched the series from the start, I recommend that you do because it's a really fun series in what I've been doing, trying to build the recreated Fight Club Pro into a global phenomenon. So join in the journey. And on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. But thank you as always. If you haven't already, subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and have a nice rest of your Sunday. Bye.